Halo guys, welcome back to Keko Channel Balik lagi dengan gue Kenny Dan seperti biasa kita bakal lanjutin lagi permainan Dari Zero kita Dan bagaimana cerita selanjutnya Langsung aja kalian nonton video game ya I hope you guys enjoy this video game This is our fifth priestess Miss Felt Wait, what? Felt? She's the fifth candidate? What the hell? Reinhardt, you brought me here without a single explanation What's going on here? I'm surprised. What brought this on? Don't play dumb with me! This place, these clothes, you, and all these people! What's up with all this? Well, I just about had it with all this! Do you not like the dress? I think you look quite stunning. Forget about the clothes! It's not like I'm embarrassed or anything. I'm just saying I hate it! And not just the outfit, I hate you too! Do you have no shame as a knight of honor for kidnapping and imprisoning a young girl like me? I merely did so for the prosperity of the kingdom. Uh, uh how do I put this? I guess I'm kind of relieved that things haven't changed with you. <laughs> She's not holding back one bit against the great sword saint. It's pretty refreshing to see. Huh? You're here too? really makes me question the point of this meeting. Reinhard van Astrea. Yes. Now, Miss Feltz, please hold this. There! Happy? Insignia shining. So then, the Dragon Gem has accepted her as a priestess? I always thought these things were weird, even when I stole one of them. I wonder what makes them glow like this. Stole? It is proof that the Great Dragon has acknowledged you, Miss Felt. As you all can see, the Dragon Gem recognizes Miss Felt as a priestess. She has the right to participate in the royal selection. Pardon me, Sir Reinhardt, but is that not a bit rash to say? I question whether the Dragon Gem is genuine or not in the first place. I beg your pardon? Are you deaf? I'm asking about the validity of her dragon gem. Allow me to confirm it with my own eyes. This goes for all the candidates present. Sir Rickert. What point is there in hiding it any further? Is that not why you called everyone here today? Hold on a sec. What's the matter, Miss Anastasia? I don't get what's going on here, but I'm a busy woman. As they say in Kararagi, time is money. What's the point in checking out our dragon gems? The only reason any of us are here is because our insignias are the real deal. Regarding that... Uh, excuse me! Sorry I'm late! Royal Capital is just so big. Being from the countryside and all. No, Melty. You can't use that as an excuse here. Oh, sorry, Sakura. I guess Tiga and I are the only country bumpkins here. Calm down, Mel. Take a deep breath. Breathe in slowly, then exhale. Ready? And out. <sighs> well? Feel relaxed? Yeah. Thanks, Tiga. So, um... I apologize, Miss Melty. Due to your tardiness, we've already begun without you. What? Really? I'm sorry! That girl... Is she the nun I saw in the city? The other two are the ones who came to the manor as emissaries. So, those two are part of this as well. Though I guess that's pretty obvious now. But then, who is she? Apologies for the delayed introductions. This young lady... ...is the sixth priestess, Melty Pristis. What?!
Now then, will each of the royal candidates relinquish their dragon gems for inspection? Well, I guess so. Who would have expected a sixth candidate? It'd be pretty bad if there were an imposter among us. I'd like to check Miss Felt's dragon gem first, if you don't mind. I guess things are moving along now. Anyway, don't you think the royal candidates are all a bit too quirky? Huh? Excuse me, but you're not talking about Miss Cruchet, are you? I mean, she's pretty special in her own way, but the others are way out there too. You've got Belt, the princess of the streets, and Priscilla, the epitome of arrogance. And that Anastasia girl's from another country entirely, right? From a passing glance, the only normal ones seem to be Mealy, Cruci, and... Here you go. That Melty girl. I get why you'd say that about Miss Cruci and Miss Melty, but... Even Miss Amelia, huh? Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. More importantly, it looks like they're done with their inspection. We have completed our analysis of all the dragon gems that are present here today. The candidacy of each priestess has been proven without a single doubt. According to the prophecy as laid out by the Dragonstone, when the Covenant with Lagunica has severed, the new bearer of the Holy Dragon shall lead the nation. It also states that five shall be called upon for their nomination to the throne. Among them, a single priestess will be elected to serve a new covenant with the Holy Dragon. Hmm. The Dragonstone has as much history as our great nation itself. When the fate of the kingdom is at stake, prophecies are foretold. Considering the great effects the Dragonstone has had upon our kingdom, it is our duty to fulfill such prophecies. The Holy Dragon Volcanica bestowed upon us the Dragonstone which has guided the kingdom extensively in the past. In the days of yore, our kingdom had braved through the coup de grace famine and the nightmare of Blight Dragon Balgrin. Come now to recent times, and we can see how it alerted us to the Black Serpent invasion, allowing us to minimize casualties. Hmm, that is quite enough. Everyone present knows already of its greatness. However, that still leaves us with six of supposedly five priestesses, yet none of their dragon gems are fake. Hmm, which means we must delay the royal selection until the number of priestesses is as foretold. Hold it, old man. Don't complicate things any more than you should. No one ever asked me if I wanted to be the next ruler. If I drop out, that'll make five candidates. Then you won't need to delay the whole thing. I was dragged all the way out here from the slums anyway. I told that knight to take me back, but he refused. Not only that, he stashed away my regular outfit and made me wear this really nonsense. This is super annoying. I never agreed to any of it. Then that settles it. If this one declines, we'll have the proper number of candidates for the royal selection. There is no more reason to postpone it. Besides, the other candidates are merely here to fill in for the foretold numbers, unlike me. I cannot allow that comment to pass, Priscilla Bariel. That goes for your withdrawal as well, Felt. Considering the importance of such an event, I do not condone such an action. What the hell? I wasn't asking for your opinion. I make my own decisions. Outsiders can keep their sticking noses out of it. Whoa, things are getting really tense now. It'll be pretty bad if it continues on like this. I beg your pardon. What insolence! Do you realize the importance of the discussion at hand? My apologies, sir, but I have an urgent message to relay. We just caught an intruder trying to sneak onto castle grounds. This intruder... Hmm? What are you looking at me for? The intruder is demanding to see Miss Felt. Don't 
make me repeat myself. Let old man Rom go. I apologize, but we can do no such thing. Since you have denounced your candidacy for the royal selection, you have denounced your title that commands us as well. So if I don't go through with the royal selection, then you won't listen to me, is that it? That is the most basic idea of it, yes. Fine then, I'll join this stupid ceremony. You just want me to try to become the next ruler, right? Reinhardt! Yes, Miss Felt. Uncuff him. They're too small anyway. And it's making my own wrists hurt just looking at them. Right away. Felt, I was trying to stop you. Sorry, old man Rom. I can't just abandon you like this. <sighs> I raised you to be too nice! So that makes six candidates with verified dragon insignias. We're right back where we started. No, that does not seem to be the case. Huh? By the way, Miss Amelia, where is your benefactor, Margrave Mathers? Um... I apologize, but Roswell is not currently present in the royal capital today. I see. So your guardian is not present. Not to mention that his sanity is in doubt, having nominated a silver-haired half-devil for the throne. Lord Bordeaux, you are out of line. Lord Miklatov, do you not see how this half-devil resembles the description of the Witch of Envy herself? The very being that once devoured half of the world, forcing all living things unto the brink of despair. Do not tell me you are unaware of the legends. Your appearance and lineage are enough to instill fear into the masses, yet you dare attempt to usurp the throne? How execrable! <laughs> you little... Stay back, Subaru! Don't stop me, Ren! I can't forgive anyone who talks to Amelia like that! Miss Amelia is already aware that she must endure such abuse. Besides... Besides what?! Do you really believe he would sit by idly while Miss Amelia is berated as such? Awfully bold of you to speak to my beloved daughter like that human. Don't tell me. I could encase this entire castle in ice with you lot inside of it if I wanted. Don't you dare forget that. The Apocalypse Beast of Eternal Frost. I suppose some have called me by that name before. Looks like you youngsters know your stuff. Being treated as a youngster at this age is quite the experience. So, so you resort to intimidation now that the circumstances have changed. Such words are clearly a threat to us. I, I don't agree with m making threats either. You can't freeze us all inside this castle. I won't stand for it. And Lord Bordeaux also took things too far. Don't you agree, Tika? What? Why are you bringing me into this? <clears throat> well, either way, I don't think you should make threats you don't plan on carrying out, Great Spirit. There are people like her who will take it seriously. Aw, guess you saw right through me, huh? B what do you mean? He isn't going to freeze us? Of course not, Mel. The Great Spirit would never do such a thing. And pardon me for saying, but if I may, I also believe Lord Bordeaux stepped out of line. I don't believe Miss Amelia's appearance or origin have anything to do with the validity of her dragon gem. Not to mention that Margrave Mathers' absence is hardly a reason to be suspicious of her. I mean, isn't it normal to be preoccupied when a meeting such as this is held so suddenly? Excuse me? You make it sound as if we're the weird ones for gathering here. Ah, pardon me, Miss Anastasia. In your case, I would say you're abnormal, yes, but in a good way. With your graceful beauty and extraordinary talent for dealing in business affairs, it's clear to everyone that you are not like the rest of us. My, you certainly have a way with words. But perhaps you would feel more natural being a merchant than a knight. I'm honored by the compliment, 
but I fear we've strayed from the topic at hand. However, I do believe it would be rash to make a decision at this very moment. Hmm. I agree with Sertiga, but what shall we do in this instance? Lord Miklatov, do not lend your ears to this child! We were all young once, not to mention that he seems to be quite a thought-provoking young man in my eyes. <laughs> You're far too kind, and my intention wasn't to stand out as much as I have, but... Since you asked, I shall answer. We cannot avoid this postponement, though it would be a real shame to end things on such a dreary note. So... Let's have a little get-together. <sighs> a get-together? <laughs> hey, Subaru. You enjoying this little party? Oh, hey, Tiga. To be honest, it's a bit tense for something usually meant for more friendly relations. You'd need a pretty big knife to cut through this atmosphere. Not to mention some of the candidates didn't even stick around. Ah, you mean Mrs. Priscilla and Anastasia. Those two are like oil and water, but they are rather logical in their rationale. They must have thought that it'd be better to continue doing their own thing rather than participate in this gathering. Hmm? Something wrong? No, I was just noticing how observant you are. You had a lot of confidence talking to those bigwigs earlier, too. Are you used to this sort of thing? It's not that I've done this a lot, if that's what you're asking. I've just always been good at composing myself when on stage, so to speak. I don't really get nervous or anxious when situations get tense. Huh. Is that right? I'm quite jealous of you. I'm such a nervous Nelly. Whoa, Mealy. That's a phrase I haven't heard in a long time. Oh, there you go again. Hello, Miss Amelia. I apologize for the sudden proposal of this get-together. No, it's okay. This gives us an opportunity to speak to everyone. So, how'd your greetings go? Since I wasn't invited for some reason. Probably because you say things like that. Well... We made our rounds without issues. Whether we made good impressions or not is a different matter altogether. You mean... It went as you're probably imagining. My appearance was an issue earlier too, wasn't it? Are you looking like some witch from a long time ago? Man, what does that have to do with anything going on now? Your silver hair, eye color, and face are totes adorbs! That's all that matters! That's a bit extreme, Subaru. But it is a very Subaru way of thinking. It really does make me happy that you try to console me like this, Subaru. But I can't just ignore the way it makes me feel. I'm not really trying to make you feel better so much as I'm telling you what I truly think. What a wonderful way of thinking! I'm incredibly moved by your sentiment. What? Are you all done, Mel? Oh, yes. I finished speaking with everyone else. Now I'd like to speak with Miss Amelia and her associates. With me? Yes. Um, that is, if you wouldn't mind. No, of course not. I'm happy you asked. I would love to talk. Wonderful! Ah, what good timing. Would you mind if we joined you? We? Are you including me in this too? Is that an issue? Though, I suppose you don't have to if you're too afraid. The hell? I ain't scared of nothing! Fine! I'll show you what's what. Uh, uh, um... Um, please don't fight! M Miss Amelia, won't you say something as well? <laughs> Having a nice chat with you all sounds very fun. Oh... What a pleasant smile. Rem, could you prepare us some tea? Yes, of course. Right this way, please. 
<laughs> the ladies sure sound excited. Just seeing such a lovely sight makes having this get-together all the more worthwhile. I agree with you there. Really looks like she's having a lot of fun. Her attitude from earlier did a complete 180. <laughs> then you should share in her happiness, Subaru. You look as if you're disappointed in yourself for some reason. Yeah, <sighs> of course you'd say that, Mr. Popular. Well, that certainly came out of nowhere. What are you talking about, you two? I hope you don't mind if we join you. Reinhardt, the Sword Saint. Oh, please, you may simply call me Reinhardt. We're both knights of royal candidates, after all. Besides, that title is still too heavy for me to bear. All right, if you say so. What's got you two so excited? I was just commenting on how popular Tiga must be, being so aware of the finer details. Doesn't that make me feel a little hollow inside, Subaru? You bet it does. And then Reinhardt came out of nowhere. What am I supposed to do here? Want Fairy to make me feel better? I won't say it's not tempting, but I only have eyes for Mila, you know. Hey, Reinhardt. Does Subaru not know about Sir Felix? So it seems I should probably tell him. Shh. Well, there you have it. We should just observe for now. Agreed. Hey, you two! Don't start gossiping like school kids! We can't lose to the girls here. Let's deepen our manly bonds! Luckily for us, that annoying Julius isn't around. I agree. We should all get to know each other better. However, I think you misunderstand something about Julius. He is a very good friend, and... Ah, oh, shut up! Oh, Subaru. I don't understand why Mew don't like Julius so meowch. Bad timing, perhaps? Now, let's go join in the merrymaking, Sir Felix. Or was it Ferris? <laughs> you get it? I'll let you escort me, then. That's quite the honor. Hey, come on over already! So guys, jadi gua rasa videonya cukup sampai di sini dulu, dan gua kini, I'll see you on the next video. Bye gamers!